Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here and welcome to my morning routine with two under two. If you're just joining me, I have a newborn who's three weeks old tomorrow. Her name is Winter and I have a two year old next month. Her name is Sophie. So this is how it starts off every morning at the moment, 4 a.m. I am up and I am feeding Winter. I am also changing her nappy and making myself a coffee. Once winter is changed and fed, she falls straight back to sleep. And I know that this would be my opportunity to go back to sleep myself, but it's also really my only opportunity for me time as by the time the kids are asleep at night, I am exhausted. So I like to take this time to have a shower first of all, because my postpartum night sweats are shocking. You guys will even see from my hair here how wet it is. I am having to change my clothes probably three to four times a night at the moment. I change the sheets every morning, so every night that they're fresh and ready to go because that's not nice to sleep in at all. And I always chuck on a load of washing straight away. I haven't gotten on top of the laundry yet, like my routine. It's just like pump it out as much as you can while you can because there's always a load to do. There's always folding to do. There's always something drying in this house at the moment. So it's just go, go, go with the laundry until I figure it out. But the dishwasher is something that I am on top of. Just again, it's kind of just always on as well. I'm doing two loads a day minimum. But in saying that, we are in a lockdown here in Canberra, Australia. So everyone's home. We have been for weeks. Dylan does return to work on Monday and I'm actually going to film that. I'm just interested to know how my day is going to go. I'm probably going to end up in tears multiple times, but it'd just be interesting to know. And if I do end up in tears, you know, real day in the life. Sweeping and mopping the floors is usually something I like to do at night. It's just so much nicer to wake up to a clean, fresh kitchen than to have to do it in the morning. But you know, you pick and choose your battles at the moment and I just didn't feel up to it. As I said, once the kids are in bed, I just want to go to bed. But by this time, my little princess had woken up, so she wakes up anywhere generally between five and seven. It's really kind of all over the shop, but she's been sticking to a pretty consistent routine of, of five to six since winter's been born. So we're just having a little cuddle. It's actually a rare occasion that she's coming out of her own room at the moment, because generally by about 1 a.m., since we're all home in lockdown anyway, she's kind of just ended up in our own bed, which is a terrible routine we have started. So I'll let you know how that goes next week. But I'm going to grab Sophie's nappies and her wipes, which I like to keep in her room now. And I'm going to change her. Clearly, I would never film that. So what I'm going to do here is just get on top of as much folding as I can. This is where I like to keep the folding at the moment. So that chair is like unusable since winter's been born. But, you know, again, you can choose your battles. Sophie wanted to read a book, so we're going to have a little dance party and then we're going to read her toilet time book because she's kind of regressed since winter has come and we're trying to embrace the toilet training again and just getting her excited by things like the Wiggles toilet song and this book has really helped. I have Sophie's clothes out ready for the day. I'm going to chuck those over the change table once I give it a wipe down. Something I would like to be doing in the evenings moving forward, just a piece of advice I was given was to do as much in the evenings while the kids are asleep because it's much easier than when the kids are awake in the morning. I personally keep two bed sets. I keep the set that is being used on the bed and then I keep another set in the linen cupboard that is fresh and ready to go. Since I've had the postpartum night sweats, it means that I need to change the sheets every day, but it also means I need to wash the sheets every day. And again, I don't really have a laundry routine quite set up, so it's kind of just go, go, go. And on this particular morning, we haven't been successful in having all of the sheets dry yet. So there's a couple of things like the quilt cover that isn't dry and ready to go, but we do what we can.
Stripping the bed as early as possible in the day is really important because once that load of washing that is currently on is finished, I can chuck these sheets straight in and we can just keep the cycle going hopefully. Again, another thing I want to do moving forward is Sophie will be having all of her showers at night. She won't be having them in the morning. However, again, winter is just so small at the moment. I have the time to give Sophie the shower that she wanted this morning. But yeah, moving forward, we won't be doing that. Unless Sophie really wants to be in the outfit that I'm trying to put on her, she's not a big fan. She's going to cry, she's going to be sooky, and I really don't need it right now. So I put the Teletubbies on for her while I'm getting her dressed, and that just distracts her and keeps her happy. After Sophie is dressed, I'm going to get her hair brushed. We like to also use like the palm olive, I think it's called Fashion Girl Detangling Spray. comes in the pink bottle, it's for kids, and it's great. It saves a lot of tears in my house. Sophie's going to brush her own teeth and how we make sure that she does it for the full two minutes is we put brush your teeth by the wiggles on. Once Sophie's done brushing her teeth, I like to put on something that I want to watch, which is EJ Makes a Six on this particular morning had made an upload. It was the Father's Day video, so I'll have that link down in the description box below if you want to check that out. Happy Father's Day, Ricky. It was an absolutely beautiful video, Lorena, as per usual. And I am clearly just getting Sophie a yogurt, which she's really excited about. It is one of the only things I can get her excited about. And then generally I can get her to have like some cereal or toast after that. So while Sophie has her yogurt, we watch EJ makes the sixes video and I change the sheets. And then we decide to have our first activity of the day, which was coloring in. On this particular morning, while we're doing the coloring in, we're gonna learn about numbers and the sequence of numbers because Sophie is really good at numbers. She can do two to five already, but she just skips one altogether. So we're trying to get her to do the one, two, three, four, five. While Sophie is distracted with her coloring and her crayons, I'm gonna get started on breakfast. I give you that piece of advice with a grain of salt because Sophie does draw all over my walls. However, Crayola is a great brand and it does wipe straight off. So as annoying as it is, and I do have to get her in trouble when she does it, it's, you know, it's not gonna mark the walls completely. You're not gonna be painting them. On this particular morning, we're having eggs on English breakfast muffins, which are from McDonald's, a bit of a treat. It's just part of their essentials range at the moment here in Canberra, Australia, like milk, bread, eggs, that sort of thing. Once Sophie is set up in front of her TV with her breakfast and her water, I'm gonna get started on cleaning up the kitchen and I generally just eat my breakfast while I'm doing that. And I'm also gonna make myself my second coffee for the day. Your girl needs it. I'm gonna finish getting ready for the day now. I don't really do much. I'm just keeping it fairly minimalistic, but I'm breastfeeding winter still every three hours. So I feel a lot better once I'm both ready for the day and I am ready for her.
I finished getting ready with five minutes to spare so I'm going to quickly wipe down the table where Sophie was having her breakfast because I'm just trying to keep on top of as much as I can throughout the day. Winter is awake now so I'm going to change her and feed her and I'm just going to feed her out in the lounge room so I can keep an eye on Sophie and I can talk to her. On this particular morning when I was done feeding Winter, we all just went into the bedroom, sat on the bed and just hung out for a while. Sophie likes to give Winter cuddles and kisses and clearly here I'm just pretending like Sophie has really smelly feet. And once we're done with that, I'm going to make sure that Winter is changed and ready for the day. Winter just wanted a top up of her milk so I'm going to do that now and then because I'd been feeding for god knows how long I'm going to make myself some toast because I'm ravished and unless you're new here you would know that I love my Vegemite toast and it's no exception at the moment that's exactly what I'm having and I'm going to tackle some work because Sophie is real chill she's just playing around me in the lounge room and Winter is back asleep Sophie actually wanted my Vegemite toast so that's what I'm doing here is I'm giving that to her and I'm going to tackle as much work as I can while Sophie is occupied and playing with her toys. Sophie and her dad had written that in chalk for me a couple of days earlier and I cannot get rid of it. As you can imagine, the rain isn't getting rid of it and I'm not either so it's probably going to be there forever. But Sophie giving me a mask, is that not a sign of the times? When Canberra was extended for two more weeks of lockdown, there was some easing of restrictions, like we can now exercise for two hours and we can go to the playground with some rules in place, of course, but it's a great way to get Sophie's energy out before her nap. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk down the shops and let her play on the playground. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did by giving it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next few days with a brand new video. Bye.